Today I'm gonna show you how I made these 3D logos. So I did these in Adobe Illustrator and basically what you're gonna wanna do is input your image, turn it into a vector using the image trace panel, and then go to 3D and materials and hit inflate. Then you can play around with the different angles you're using, make it wider or skinnier, and also play around with how puffy it looks. You can change the lighting, add a shadow, and when you're finally done, hit render, and here's the final result. I went ahead and did this with like nine other logos, and then finally, this is what all of them look like together. These things look so cute and squishy, and you just wanna eat them. With this new feature, it is so easy. Let me know which one's your favorite in the comments. this logo into this using Adobe Illustrator. Okay, so first and foremost, you're gonna put your logo into here and you wanna make sure it's a vector. To do that, you go to image trace, select color and hit trace. Next, what we're gonna do is go to the 3D and materials panel. For this one, I hit inflate and you can play around with all the different things in here like the size of the depth, the volume, what the angle is that you're gonna see it at and the lighting. So for this one, I did isometric top as the angle and played around with it from there turned the roughness all the way down, and then made the lighting pretty intense. And this is the final result once you hit render. The downside with this is once you hit render, sometimes it can take a long time. And if you're not happy with the final result, you have to go in there, change everything, render it again. So it can be a tedious process, but overall, once you get those glossy, drippy highlights in there and the shadows, they can make some really, really cool effects. Let me know what you think in the comments.
turning random objects into pool floats using Adobe Illustrator's new 3D materials tool. I asked you all over on YouTube for some suggestions and you did not disappoint. First, I decided to play around with making my cat into one just to practice. So I started by drawing him with the pen tool. Then you can group the shapes and play around with the lighting, volume, depth, and placement of the 3D object in this 3D and materials panel. And here is how that one turned out. One of the most fun suggestions reads as follows. I want to see a penguin wearing a Hawaiian shirt with a straw hat on and sunglasses and to finish off a cup of ice water in one of its hands or wing or whatever it is. So I made all that with the pen tool and when I added the 3D effect, I was blown away with how cool this one was. I also made the old Instagram logo, a chair, the IBM logo, the Spotify logo, and a ham. I love how all these turned out so much. I learned a lot of this and I got this idea from a TikToker named Holly Johnson, who I will link below. Definitely go check out her page and let me know in the comments which one's your favorite.